In this video, we're going to be looking at X inefficiency. Okay, so what is X inefficiency? It's basically when organization or slack leads to a loss of efficiency in firms. So it's typically found in larger firms, okay, with monopoly power. Okay, why is that? Because these firms make super normal profits and have high barriers to entry. So they're making a lot of money and they don't have to worry about competition from other firms. Okay, so small losses won't put these firms out of business. So they're able to afford to make some losses. Okay, so what would be an example of X inefficiency? So an example would be a big firm spending excessive amounts of money on first class travel for executives. So like first class plane tickets or train tickets. Okay, so these are unnecessary costs. Okay, and the firm could save money by, you know, not being um, so excessive with this sort of spending. Another example would be uh, a firm that suffers from a lot of wastage. Okay, so like, for example, a supermarket that, um, you know, is losing money every day on, you know, wasting, let's say, stock that is perishing. Okay, so... Um, Right, on a diagram, the way that you would draw this, okay, is we have the monopolies AC here, the average cost curve, okay, and we have a potential AC curve, okay, so the monopoly power can potentially be producing down here, but instead it produces up here on a different AC curve, and the distance between these two curves is the X inefficiency, okay? So this is a particular problem, as mentioned before, for larger firms, okay? So monopoly power, okay, over 25% market share, or maybe not even quite that, but like an oligopoly could also suffer from this type of inefficiency as well. You're not gonna find this sort of uh, inefficiency when firms make normal profits because they simply can't afford to make uh, you know, this level of losses that aren't necessary. Okay, hope this made sense. In the next video, we're going to be looking at dynamic efficiency.